looking ahead to Boxing Day against Watford, any different to looking ahead to Man City and Liverpool that the game's coming up? No, um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not just saying that either. I mean, we we've been like this for three years now. It's just go into the next game, um, see if we can deal with that first, and then you know, and then we'll talk about the next game and the next game after that. It's um, full full focus on Watford, and uh, we know it'll be a tough afternoon, so we need to be at our best. Are they fixtures though the Man City and Liverpool away games that did sort of leap off the page at the start of the season as ones where you know you as an individual and as a, as a player are just occasions that you just want to be involved in? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, when you get promoted to the Premier League, it's the first kind of fixture you look for. You know, Anfield, Man City, Man United, etc. Um, and it's just one to relish. Really, it's um, you know, it's no point working really hard uh, to get promoted from the Championship just to. You know, be scared of these kind of occasions. You need to, you need to really relish them, and and we'll look forward to them. But obviously, we've got a really tough game before that, so you know, we'll think about that after. Talked a bit with Chris Wilder this morning about the the squad and and how you know important it is that the players that have got the shirts keep it. How 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 aware are you of people breathing down your neck trying to trying to take that shirt off your back? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's assembled a great squad here. Um, you know, in training, there's no weak links. Um, everyone's at it every day. So you know it's a, it's um, it's your responsibility to make sure you're doing everything to to keep the shirt, whether that's in the gym, um, whether that's at home or on the training ground or what. It's not just a Saturday afternoon. You need, really need to knuckle down and make sure you you don't leave any stone unturned in terms of your preparation uh, to make sure you keep the shirt. And uh, you know it's it's been a pretty consistent side so far, but a lot can change in football, and the, and the gaffer's always telling us that. So you know you need to be at your game all the time and um, and keep improving. Do you think that consistency has helped this season and that, that you're collectively growing together as a team really as the challenges come? Yeah, potentially, but you know, I'm not just saying this, it's not actually just the team. It's you know, if you if you actually spend a lot of time at the training ground you'll realise how tight knit everyone is, you know. Even if you're not on the bench, they're they're still there before the game waiting for you by the tunnel, um, wishing you good luck. After the game they're the first ones in to to congratulate you or to, to console you if you don't win. So it's um it's it's a really tight knit squad and you know it's uh, it's real collective effort. Do you feel like you can maintain the form that you're on and, and keep pushing and potentially finishing that that top five? <laughs> uh, I I don't know. It's too early to say that. I mean, it's uh, you know if anyone told us we'd be fifth in the Premier League after 18 games, I think you know a lot of people would you know would be asking how much you've had to drink. But um, we're here on merit. Um, it's been half a season, so it's not luck. Um, so you know, who knows? You know, it'd be a tough ask to to keep up this form for the rest of the season. But you know, with this gaffer, with this set of lads, uh, with the fans behind us, you know, who knows where it can take us? Uh, and Watford, did you watch the, the Manchester United game? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What did you What did you make of your opposition on Boxing Day? I thought they were really good, really good. I mean, obviously Nigel Pearson's come in and 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 he's done a great job, and they're starting to play some nice football and. You know they've just beaten Man United at home, so it's uh, you know you've got to give them credit for that. It's you know it's not an easy task at all, is it? So you know they're going to be a good side, and you know um, their squad are littered with with really really good good players. So it's going to be tough. Um, and like I've said hundred times, we need to we need to make sure we're at it um, if we're going to get anything from the game.